Hello, in this video we are going to cover how to do, get the exact size of a variable data type. So the amount of memory each data type would use in, you know, in your RAM. So to do it, pretty simple. First of all, we'll do a hash include stdio.h so we can print it all out. And we'll say, let's put printf and because this is going to return a integer, we're going to put size of an integer is percent i backslash n, and then to actually get the size of an integer, you put the keyword size of, pretty simple, open close parentheses. So this is a function, and then you put int in there. So the data type that you want to try and get, you know, the size for. And I'll do this a few times. So we'll do it for float, and you could do it for double, long double, you know, all that sort of stuff. You know, feel free to do that. And I'm gonna do it for char, right, a character. Sorry, do it for character. Do do do. I mean, there are other boxes. We can do long double if we can do. And for float, and I'll put char. And I'll put long double. And if I give that a run, see what we get. So we get size of an integer is four bytes. And size of a float is four. Size of a character is one. Size of a long double is 12. So there you go. Those are the sizes. You don't have to just do it based on you know, the data type, you could put a number there, so you could put a, I mean, a value there. So if I do that, it still comes as four because it's a, you know, a regular integer. If I was to put a character there, like six, it's still a character because it's in quotation marks. It comes up as size of an integer is, oh, that's weird, it should come up as, um, I feel like it's getting the integer value. I feel like that is what is happening. So that we ignore that for now. But what you could do is create a like the data type, let's say I U for example, and then we put U there. And there we go. So those are so those are the ways of getting the data sizes for the different data types it's a pretty cool thing and trust me when you get advanced enough into programming there will come a time where you sort of need to calculate how not necessarily how much ram you will need but the size of each one because based on that you will do something in particular and that's really it if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group where there's almost 4200 members you never know let me have a look it might be 4,200 members now. Because uh, yesterday when I looked, it was about 4,150. We're on 4,182. We'll be at 4,200 members tomorrow. There's plenty of programming channels there. If you want to check out the code, there's also a link in the description to the GitHub page. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.